it doesn't matter if you're the number one kid in the nation. I think that everybody should have that mentality of I'm the best no matter what. What happens next will make you stronger. I can tell he was a young guy with just raw talent. He's always willing to put in the work no matter what. His work ethic is different. You can just see it. I think Tyler's as good as he is solely off of hard work. So Tyler's greatest skill, in my opinion, is his determination. That determination and that drive is translated on the field. If you do what you need to do, if you work hard at everything you do, it will transfer on the field. Stay motivated by the haters. I think all the haters, you know, they're gonna come at you, but you gotta be prepared to show up. My name is Tyler Acevedo. I'm 15 years old and I play baseball. I played catcher in Little League. I was pretty nasty at that, but I wanted to take shortstop a little bit more seriously. I got into baseball when I was two years old and my dad gave me a t-ball bat. Tyler is good because that's what he wants to be. I met Tyler. One day he walked into a baseball facility looking to try out for our baseball teams. He made it very eye-catching. I played some college ball. I ended up playing some independent baseball and then I have 12 years of professionally training young athletes anywhere from the age of seven to college. Tyler just stands out. He had great hands, fielding-wise. Little work uh, with the bat, but eventually that came along throughout the years of training him. Today, me and Tyler did some hand-eye coordination, some glove work drills, basic ground balls, and then we expanded it to backhands and forehands. You name it, we do it. I always tell Tyler, you know, everything you do in practice, gonna pay off on the field. Just do what you do at practice. Tyler, he got to where he is today because uh, his hard work, day in, day out. He comes into the facility, puts in the work he has to. Not only that, he works hard at home. Me and Tyler met this summer on our first baseball team. We joined the same team and uh, we've been friends since then. Uh, Tyler and I, after games, and a couple other teammates of ours, would we would hang out back at his house or at some other place, and we'd either hit baseballs or throw or just hang out in general. I think those were some really fun times for me. I made some good memories. I think Tyler and I's relationship, I think it's strong because there's that trust there. Now he's more of a leader and he's a lot more in shape as well. Because everyone has bad hitting days and bad fielding days, but it's how you bounce back and return from those days. And I think that's really where he showcases his mental ability. I'm happy to call him my friend. He's always been around baseball. He's always watched it on TV. When Tyler was 13 years old, I really saw that he had this passion. He came up to me and asked me, what does it take? And we had that conversation. And I asked them, but you have to understand, are you ready for this? The reason why I love baseball the most is I feel like all sports that I've played, I really did not have that fun, but baseball I really have fun with. He always knew that he wanted to play baseball, and so as a mom, I was just, oh, it's cute. Good job, Ty. Last year, I really started focusing on baseball and being more competitive towards the sport. I played shortstop. My responsibility is just to know all parts of the game. How is the outfield playing? Is the infield in the right position? If there's a righty batter, you gotta play a little bit to the left or right. So what I do to train is I wake up at 5 a.m., do my morning activities, and then I go outside to do insane mornings. We get up early in the morning and we do 20 minutes of straight working out. So what I do for insane mornings, I run a couple of hills, get the blood flowing, start lifting the tire a little bit, sledgehammer work and getting stronger. I'm training six times a week. So my strength and conditioning includes landmines, deadlifts, reverse lunges if you want to throw hard, a lot of sled work with heavy weight to get quickness and explosive. Some of the other trainings that we do, we focus on infield work on high intensity to kind of condition the body to the best that it could be. I played all through high school and I've uh, been a coach for about 20 years now and I train in explosiveness weight training, and I train in speed. I believe when you have a father-son relationship, there's always gonna be some type of friction because it's like, are you sure you know what you're talking about? Uh, 
so this one right here is probably my favorite metal another we went five and zero on the record we all i think i had a walk off single to tie it up and this is my second favorite the ring we did another five and zero tournament that was crazy but this is my first big field home run and i hit this this year and it was pretty cool championship game wwa freshman one i think i did like three for six about like 500 that was my first real league tournament. This was a very, very good matchup. We were facing a team down in Washington. I like that game very much. After my grandmother passed, I got this bat, and this was probably my favorite bat until I broke it in WWBA freshman. And I was really sad about it. I think I cried. This is the 2017 or 18 All-Star team in Drosnik Little League. Hotties, hotty toddy. That's an Ole Miss thing. I have a baseball field behind it. Just when I wake up, I just like to see a baseball field. I think my proudest moments in baseball is me committing, because I know my journey has been a really rough one. My goals is to go to college, of course. That's what me and my parents want. But if the draft talks start happening, I would will, will like to take that too. But my hitting style is a little bit like you want to as I like to have my front foot a little bit wide and open so I can get straight to the ball. My inspirations are Joanna Cespedes and David Wright. Oh, and Francisco Lindor. I love Francisco Lindor as a shortstop and as a teammate. The way he moves his body, his body language, Tyler picks it up really good and, and he runs with that. I see the same fluidity as Francisco Lindor. Tyler got to where he is because of his hard work and dedication. When he does have his moments of errors or mishaps, he doesn't let that determine the outcome of that day. If Tyler ever gets off track, I tell him, you were made for this. There's going to be 0 for 3s. There's going to be injuries, but you have to keep on track with your goals. It doesn't matter how hard you fail, it's how hard you come back up. Outside of baseball, I play paintball with my friends, sometimes play video games with them if I have time. He's willing to put in the work. He's dedicated. He's, uh, he definitely has the motivation to, to strive and, and go forward in his uh, baseball journey. He's accomplished a lot, and as a mother, I'm super proud of him. What makes me the most proud of Tyler is his hard work and dedication. I attribute his success to him. He's the one that's doing the work, he's the one that has the mindset, and he's the one that's motivated. Tyler's skill and ability may change our lives forever, but that is not our main focus. Our main focus is for him to get his education and whatever the universe has for him, has for him. You have to keep pushing yourself to be who you want to be. We push each other every day to try to be better. I don't want to stop and he doesn't want to stop till we reach our goals. You know, talent could go only but so far. Without hard work, it's not going anywhere. I'm happy for him, I'm proud of him, but I know that there's still work that needs to be done. That's all you could do when you play baseball, when you start, just have fun, don't even think about it, just go out there and play. No days off means to me to grind until you get your goal and nobody's gonna stop you from getting that goal.